Okay, this video, what I'm going to do, this has been requested by users who have been either adding comments onto the previous video regarding uh, setting up React.js. There is an error that some users are running into and it's regarding Webpack and React Script. The newest Webpack version, version five, is causing conflicting issues with the polyfills settings on React.js. There is a section called React Scripts in which you actually invoke what is allowed to run on those libraries. Uh, I haven't dig, uh, dig deeper into what might be causing the issue. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a compatibility issue between web, the Web3 um, library or Ethers.js library with this new Webpack format, which is embedded into React.js. And actually, it's embedded into Node.js. And then it's be because it's called by React, then it causes those issues. Let's fix it real quick. So what we need to do is we need to downgrade from 5.x, so Webpack 5.x, we have to go back to 4.x, and also we need to update React scripts to be 4.x. So let's get started right away, okay? Let's uh, work on this. Okay, so this is what you're running, okay? No worries, oh, I got you, I got you. Let's fix this real quick. First thing, obviously, you gotta disable the, the web server, okay? So this is our lab web server that we were working with the Web3 videos that we were um, discussing about NFTs and how can we build a Web3 dApp. Okay, so I just stopped the server. You're gonna go to your, uh, your IDE, your in this case, Virtual Studio. So the first thing we have to do, and you can see it here, we have the Webpack. This is the version that is running on the server that is having the issue. Okay, so it's showing here Webpack 5. We need to downgrade it, but there's a couple of steps that we have to do. First step we have to do is we have to uninstall Webpack. So we're going to uninstall Webpack. Then we are going to downgrade the React scripts to 4.3, 4.0. So we just need to downgrade React scripts to 4.0. And then we reinstall Webpack, but we have to choose the version. Okay, so let's make that happen. Also, we have to re-invoke npm install because the moment the moment I downgrade the libraries or the, the React script, I have to rerun the npm install on the server. So then it grabs the newer the, the, the versions that we are actually specifying on, on the uh, on the on, on the settings, right? So this file is locked. So you just need to delete that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna delete this file. Awesome. Next, we are going to uninstall Webpack npm on install web pack. Once this is done, next thing we gotta do, we gotta downgrade React scripts. So you'll see it now, it's done. Okay, let's uninstall there. Let's um, downgrade React scripts. So this is for, I can put, you know, 4.0, anything above 4.0, lower than five, it's, it should be fine. I'll just, you know, 4.3. Okay. You can see that once I uninstall, Webpack is no longer showing on the React scripts, right? Now I'm, I've just saved the control S, right? I saved the config. And now we want to delete the package JSON again because we saw that once we did the npm uninstall, it built a new one. So go ahead and delete it. Restart the server. So, I, you know, it's proactive. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have to, but re, uh, restart the server. That, it won't hurt, okay? So I'm just gonna restart the box. Once it the server comes back, what we're gonna do, we're basically going to install Webpack, but in this case, we're gonna specify the version. And then we're just going to run npm install and we'll see if the server works, okay? Okay, the server is back online. Let me go ahead real quick. Let's, uh, now what we're gonna do, let me go to my React server configs and I just save this to be 4.03. Now we can go ahead and install Webpack again. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my shell. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to npm install webpack at, and then we can specify a version. I, you know, I can say 4.4.0. Press enter. Now it's going to install that particular library. Once it's done, I am going to uh, run npm install and that should be it. So basically three steps to, to summarize. First step, uninstall Webpack. npm uninstall Webpack. Second step, update the React script to be 4.0 whatever. So I just put 4.0.3. 
delete the package package lock, not package JSON, package lock. Run npm install, and that sh that should do it. That should be it. Okay, so it's almost done. Okay, it's done. Awesome. So let me go back to the package JSON. Now we have Webpack 4.4. Now I have React Scripts uh, 4.0.3. I made sure that that's set up. Okay, now let's do npm install. Once that's done, I can test and see if it works, okay? Okay, that looks good. Now let's npm run start. Actually, I realized that the lowest, it's uh, 4.4. 4.4.2, so make sure that you install that version, okay? So let me go ahead and uninstall. And then I'll install 4.4.2. Okay, now let me install 4.4.4.2. That looks good. I mean, I'll do again npm install just to be safe. I, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we don't need to, but cool. And run should be now this. That looks way better. Let's wait for the um, the React server to show that it's running, and that should be it. And there you go, back in action, alrighty. Let me know if you have any questions, any doubts, and don't forget, please subscribe. Thank you.